Speaking freedom. Speaking freedom. Giving you the answers to be free. Be free. Be free. Cause we're speaking freedom. And we're live on live KC. Okay, so I wanted to do a real quick video about um the <laughs> look. I be talking about this uh, Atlanta mayor race like I live in the fucking city. I do not live in the city of Atlanta. Um, I just you know fuck with the city of Atlanta heavy. Um, I would I would move in the city of Atlanta. Maybe their taxes be too high. I don't even try to do all that extra. Um, but. Um, I wanted to do this video because um, I'm just going to give my opinion about Kasim Reed losing. Um, I think that when that older lady came up, I think she blew his chances. I think in order for Kasim to really um, ever get a position as mayor again, um, he would really have to rebuild his reputation in the community. And I'm not sure how he could re rebuild his reputation in the community or rebrand himself <clears throat> outside of trying to make this right for that lady, even despite the fact that he lost. He need to keep his word on that. He need to get all that federal charges shit. I know he has said it was over or whatever, but... All that shit that went on, like, I don't know when the people that he was working for him gonna get, uh, go to jail, but that will never look good. Um, so he gonna have to do a lot of rebranding <coughs> and rebuilding his image in the community because right now, whatever things that he did or was accused of doing has, um, dampened his, um, his reputation greatly um now that lady coming up in that town hall you know it that was very damaging especially um because he tried to skate out right before he like when he seen her coming he was like oh oh what time oh didn't i have to say i had to go you know what i'm saying like so he should have um stood 10 toes on that um and then he should have pulled her to the side after the fact and said what well, you know well can we um, try to figure out what we can do? I will have to and, and explain to her what has to be done and explain to her the process of how it got to that point. Like, sometimes you have to tell people, like, you know, um, I may have made a mistake. I thought that I could promise that you would not have to move. However, um, in the case where it's a hazard and the city would be liable, then the city has to do what's best to cover its own ass. So in order, and that ha has nothing to do with the fact that, um, you know, other than that ain't necessarily, you got to take a deal to do that. No, to cover their own ass to, in order for the people that live there not to sue, if something happened to those homes, they could sue the city for allowing them to be there if the house was supposed to be condemned. Then that would be the city's fault. So the city has to do what it has to do to make sure that they are not held liable or the people would have to sign a waiver to say if anything worse happened, then that's on y'all. But the city is not going to do that because they're not going, you know what I'm saying? They're going to do what's right for business. At the end of the day, People got to realize that running the city is a business. Running the United States is running a business. It is a business first. Like the employees are just the employees. The citizens are just the customers. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, I hate to say it like that, but you know what I'm saying? Like, that's what it is. Now, I don't know specifically. I would have to go and look and see about the bribery uh, claims and shit. Um, that's never a good thing. It's always best to be unpurchasable and to hire people who are also unpurchasable because if they are purchasable, even if you aren't, then guess what? It will make it look like that you are purch purchasable too. And the reason why it does that is because if they're taking bribes 
as your employee, then it looks as though they're doing it in your name, regardless if you approved of it or not. You could have said, no, don't do that. You could have told them, you know what I'm saying, like had specific conversations with them about it. You know what I'm saying? And they still did it. And guess what? That's on you. Because those are your employees and you should have enough um, reign over them in order to know if they doing something shady you should be able to point that out so that's that's what that is you know what i'm saying at the end of the day if you um if you're in charge the buck stops with you it's like whenever i have a customer service issue i'm like you know where's the who is next in charge well, I'm the supervisor. Okay, but if you don't own the company, then you have a boss. And whoever that is probably has another boss before you get to the CEO. Because I will go and find the CEO information to email the CEO. <laughs> so, you know what I'm saying? That's almost like equivalent to them people standing outside Keisha, uh, bottom house. Like, um, I just think that um, in order to, one, to really get the city back in control, we need to do some um some maintenance um and some of that is going to be um i don't want to say more patrols because that's not necessarily going to help but what y'all did was y'all brought in a whole bunch of retail high value shit and y'all it is becoming more of a um man uh it, it's it's a blessing to be what it is but if you don't build the economy around the city while you're bringing all this money into the city then it makes the people that get the most money targets and um right now you know like especially with the pandemic and all of that and people losing jobs or you know what i'm saying being out of work or you know what i'm saying like people is you know scrambling more now than before and even those that weren't working um, or that didn't necessarily lose a job, boredom, you know, can make you do some crazy shit. So a lot of that is going to be getting into the community and getting the community active as far as, you know, crime wise. And then managing the business of the city is going to be making deals. Who can make the best deals? And we ain't talking about no crazy shit that's going to not benefit, you know, hip hop the entertainment world because if people are going to relocate here then we have to make the uh proper um amenities and the rewards or you know what i'm saying the benefits in general worth something so in order to do that you have to create an environment that welcomes these big names and labels and shit because this is the mecca whether we realize it or we want to get down, you know what I'm saying, honor it or not, it's going to be what it is. So, um, yeah, <laughs> I think that Kasim is going to have to rebrand himself. He's going to have to do a whole lot of work um, to, to rebrand his image and to gain people's trust. I don't know how he's going to be able to gain people's trust other than doing honorable public deeds um, whether he gets in a different type of office and then works from there and, you know, make good public representation. Um, and then, you know what I'm saying, transition into building his image. But right now, I think that um, that lady is the most damaging thing that happened during the whole thing. Like, he probably was up until then. And then, you know, like, it was too late when he tried to come back with the, okay, well, I've tried to work on the resolution. Sometimes, you know, they say better late than never. Um, however, sometimes if you wait too long, it doesn't even mean anything anymore. You know what I'm saying? Like a lot of people don't understand that. You know what I'm saying? When, when I got to ask you, beg you, cry and do all the extra shit, then it doesn't mean as much as, you know, if it was just a genuine offering to do right or make peace or whatever the case may be. All right, gotta go. Bye, love your life. Speaking Freedom presents Good Head Group providing advanced spiritual studies and personal developmental insight. Brought to you by Love Gang and Speaking Freedom. We look forward to helping you grow in all the areas of your life. We hope that you find all the information needed for your growth. God bless. Please listen to all disclaimers provided.
If you are currently under physician's care, please maintain that relationship. This is not intended to stop your current treatment plan. If you need physician care, please seek out medical attention. Please note, all results are based on the individual's ability to adapt and adjust to any given environment and situation. We are not responsible for your results at Speaking Freedom. The life enhancement coaches at Speaking Freedom provide information to help you grow. You are responsible for maintaining that growth, taking on and then applying the information to your individual life as you deem needed and necessary. This may contain and explain explicit content. Please use parental discretion. For best results, you will need an open mind, the ability to research, and a balanced lifestyle. Please join us daily for your inspiration and motivation. We have the entire world to offer you at your fingertips. Your life enhancement coaching specialist. Thank you for choosing us to assist you in accomplishing your personal and professional goals. And have a beautiful day. In love, we trust. This is brought to you by Good Head Group, Love Gang, and Speaking Freedom. We thank God for you, and we love you. Hi, I'm Casey, Dr. Casey to be exact, owner of Speaking Freedom LLC, Love Gang, and Good Head Group LLC. I am also a certified life coach and host of Speaking Freedom Radio and TV. Although I have recently became an ordained minister, please be aware that I am still me, raw and uncut the way God made me and allowed life to shape me. I pray and expect God to use me for people who can receive the way I communicate as well as my delivery. I am not for those who are already saved, religious, or super deep. I am for the leaders, hustlers, and street influencers around the world, including pimps, killers, drug dealers, and working girls. I am sharing my experiences and perspective to help someone be inspired to be better. And for those who can identify with the various aspects of my mindset. My mindset alone does not determine the status of any active connections or current relationships that have not already been specifically addressed. Additionally, these recordings should not be taken personally if I have not already spoken to you about the topic or expressed that I have an issue. These recordings are a part of my life's work to document my experience, perspective, and to see how life has shaped me. My plan in using my stories publicly and socially is to encourage growth in those who can identify with the experiences and find inspiration in my life to heal and overcome the path that they've been set on, no matter what they face as according to the purpose of their soul until healing takes place. Despite the experiences that I may have had with any person, sometimes known and unknown, I hold no grudges, no no hate, no bitterness, or any other ill feelings against anyone. I pray that your life is whole and very fruitful. I forgive you as I hope that you forgive me if I have wronged you or anyone that you know or anyone who listens to me. I pray that you have peace and extend the same grace to others. I have love for everyone, especially on a human level, despite flaws or experiences. But that doesn't mean that I will associate or be close to every human that I know or meet. I've experienced a very eventful life and truly believe that my mindset and story based on experiences could help those who identify with how I think and are looking for inspiration to grow further, go beyond hurt and be great. I pray that these recordings bless you and your soul in every way and whatever way God has intended. Sending love and light to all. Thanks for listening. Achieve your dreams.